Hello. I'm filming two videos in one day, but I changed my shirt so it looks like it's a different day. Um, we're gonna try and push through this and come up with a decent video because I realized that the um, review that I had done was all out of focus. Let us try our hands at this. This is a summer book haul. This is not the like total haul of books that I have purchased. This is all just physical books because I purchased a lot of Kindle books because that's what I had most of the summer. But I did still buy a few books, mostly used ones, um, and I may or may not purchase a few more, but hopefully not because I have a lot of books, I have a lot of shit to read, and yeah. So I guess we will start with the book for August for the Queer Book Review, which is The Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue. I bought this book two days ago on Amazon because I was like, oh, it's August and I'm home, so I might as well order this book already. This book is about, um, just, it's a buy book. And a gentleman. I remember reading the, the cover thingy, and I'm not gonna read it right now because, um, why would I do that to you guys? Uh, why would I ever look like I know what I'm doing? But it just like looked interesting and I was like, uh, yeet. Um, apparently there's a sequel, so maybe I'll read that one eventually. But this is the book for August. When I was in Paris, I went into this gay bookstore and I don't think I actually filmed that part of the day. I might have. Um, cause that was sort of like the last day after I had lost my, uh, camera. And I decided to get two books. So this is, um, this is a manifesto against the normalization of queerness, basically, and it's all in French, so I'm excited to read this. And it's like a new queer perspective that I haven't sort of been exposed to already. So this one should be cool. It's by Alain Naz. And then the next book I bought, because I thought it was kind of fun, it was from the same gay bookstore. This is called, um, 30 Years, 10 Years in Therapy. Um, this one's also in French, so this is just sort of like a quirky little like memoir journal thing about this young 30 year old woman's life and like, I don't know. I just seemed like interesting. I like the cover and like, I don't know, it just seemed cute. So I picked it up. From this point on it's on manual focus, so like, I'm sorry. It was just driving me absolutely insane. Um, we do have The Cossacks by Leo Tolstoy, because I love Leo Tolstoy. I actually got this book for free because I spent over, my friend and I spent over 100 shekel at a coffee shop one day. Um, we did it twice. Both times we were with three people in total, um, and the third person left both times. So one time my friend got one, the next time I got a Tolstoy book. Um, so I'm excited to read this. Um, and it's, I think it includes The Death of Ivan Ilyich and Happily Ever After. So two pieces of Tolstoy's that I have not yet read. So I'm excited. Hopefully the translation is good because I remember really enjoying the ones that I had read previously. So I bought this copy called The Outsider that's really just The Stranger. So that's something. Hmm. Um, so this is now my second vintage copy of Cameo's The Stranger, but this one has a weird title, so like, I don't understand. Then I bought Exile in the Kingdom. Uh, these are short stories, and I have not actually read this book. So this will be, this will be interesting. Then today, I went to a used bookstore, and I bought five books. Are we surprised? Are we even surprised? No, we're not surprised. So I bought, um, Allen Ginsberg's journals from the 50s and 60s, so that'll be cool. I bought Selected Letters of Gregory Corso, which is um, an accidental autobiography. So this will be really cool. I'm excited to read this one. Corso was like kind of like Ginsburg's people in a way, um, sort of, I guess, in the same way that Bob Dylan was also Ginsburg's people. We have even more letters. The letters of William S. Burroughs, Bill Burroughs. So this one will be exciting because a lot of his letters were to Ginsburg. So <laughs> I then purchased Death and Fame, which are like the last poems of Allen Ginsberg. So that'll be cool. Not like I need another collection of his poems, but I just like that it's like a, a smaller, 
thinner edition. I have like this giant ass copy of like all of his poems ever written, but that is uh, exhaustive and no. And then the last one that I got was um, The Life of Allen Ginsberg Screaming with Joy. And I bought this one mostly because it's got like pictures of him. And I think some pictures within here are pictures that he took himself, um, which is something that like is, I really enjoy that. I really enjoy getting to see pictures that he took. So that is the haul for the summer, the summer book haul. You know, I usually do a summer book haul, but this year, um, Daedalus Books Warehouse is closed, um, permanently. So, ugh, I might have to go on sort of like binge shops through there, um, cause they have a really nice online store. Um, and it's the same prices as in store, but it's not like the same effect as going to a bookstore. Barnes and Nobles is bullshit, so I don't know why I would ever shop there. So this summer in total, I only bought 11 books, which is pretty impressive. Um, and we will see when I ever read them, because I'm really stacking up the beatnik, like, literary history, and I just, like, never read it. So we will see when I ever get to reading it. Um, obviously the next book that I will be starting with is going to be The Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue, because that is the book for August. Um, and, you know, soon, by soon I mean by the end of August, you will have a review for that. So... Thank you all for watching, and I will see you next time.